on today's episode of Moto Cheese. The following movie is rated I. Lights installed, 200 watt, ready for the electrician. I figure one on each side of the bay. Because it was a six pack, I hook one up, man, they are bright. Got the hole dug, a little over two feet. That'll do her. Ready for the electric. Hey Russ, how you doing? Good, and you? Good. Definitely. I hope so. Better be bright with all them 200 waters, six of them. <laughs> Getting her done, hi Eric. Yeah man, gonna make it look nice. Yeah, it looks good, looks good so far. Lift is coming tomorrow, so they can finish all this upper lighting. Ended up putting three quad boxes on the back wall. There are gonna be two light switches here. By code, you have to have an outside lighting fixture now. Right, Gizmo? Meow. Yeah. That's good. You're right. That's what she said. Yeah. Woo! Go for a ride. We are in. That's what she said. We are. Is it hot up there, Eric? Oh man. <laughs> It's very, very hot. What's the temperature up there? About 90, 100? I would say it's probably close to 95 right now. It's hot. All wired, let's see. Yeah, it'll be bright at night for sure. Yeah, I'd be curious what So it's dark in here now, except a little light for my security camera. But by code, you gotta have an outside light down here. And let's see how bright these lights are. Wow, it's like daylight in here. Holy cow. Now with six lights from Amazon, 200 watts. I'll put a link for them, man. They are friggin' awesome. It's like daylight in here. <laughs> Holy cow. Two switches there, my panel there. Welding receptacle, quad box, another quad box, another quad box, and one more quad box. That should do it for now. Oh yeah, and they put the drop in 220 for that lift. Getting there boys, just waiting on the doors. So we got our power all hooked up.
Got the fancy wireless remote, huh? Oh God, you can't do this unless you have the toys. <laughs> That's right. That's nice and clean. Like I told you on the phone, I don't, I won't deal with the scrappy stuff. Oh yeah, with the chunks. Like, yeah, I've used say. it up north. It's hard to like if you're smoothing it out and back dragging. It's like having a boulder in there when you're well, back dragging. Well, you got big chunks in it, and, and right. this doesn't have any concrete in it. It doesn't have any reflectors in it. Oh right, yeah, garbage. It's right. It's just, and it's granular, so. And this packs real good. I want to nice. sell the other stuff. So yeah, we got him in. I, I got a Coyote. Oh yeah. Bob got the same company. Right. Yeah. They they make it for him. They're a good tractor. He don't have the fancy remote on his, does he? No. <laughs> well, they're they're both of mine. You have to wire in one of those this remotes. One's, this one's older. You can go to Harbor Freight and get those wireless yeah, remotes. You can. Thank you. Not too bad of coverage. Four inches thick up by the garage, back to about three and then tapered into the dirt. 10 yards, not too bad, I don't think. So this stuff packed down pretty good. It was screened and reground if the bigger pieces didn't make it through the screen. So it's nice finely ground stuff. I don't know what I could do to make it lock together better. Maybe water it and see if get the dirt out from in between it and it'll lock when the sun bakes into it or I don't know, is there anything you put down on this that can make it more like asphalt? The doors are here. Woohoo! Going up. Looks very good. Thank you very much. What's your name? Francisco. Thank you. Thank you. The doors are in. The inspector came for the building and it passed with flying colors. Man, this was one of the best building inspectors I've ever met. What a great guy. Now I'm waiting on my electrical inspection. Woohoo! It passed. And the electric inspector was pretty cool too. Now I get to fill in this hole. And the ditch is filleth. How are you 
today. Hey, Jan. Hey, you know what? I have the best team. They did an awesome job. They I'm did. I'm very proud of them. From start to finish, my guys that cleared the land for you, my guys that did the slab, of course, my guys that did the building. A plus job for sure. So, I can't believe they got this whole entire building up in one day. Wow, that is awesome. I had seen part of that, that they did that for you. The colors match the house. Yeah. Um, the siding looks pretty good. We do offer lap siding, which would have been a little bit more money, a little bit more like the, the siding on your house, but otherwise curbside appeal, it's beautiful. The doors, I like how that works. I like how this chain is on this door with the locks. If you want to put a remote control motor on there later, I have a door company that would come in and do that. People that just want to press a button. I like the ease of this and the industrial look. It's, it's pretty awesome. It's so fast too, the chains are unbelievable. You know, like putting them down. The only one that I'd probably want to remote control would be the center door. And then you said we have two locks. This is to wrap the chain around so nothing happens by accident. Right. And then yeah, we also it's... have these slide locks down here, which make that nice too. Right. Yeah, then you got the slide locks. Yeah. Just an added piece of safety. Yes. That is cool. Okay, so my main goal is customer satisfaction. Did we achieve that? Absolutely. Yes. Thumbs up. Thank you so much. I appreciate your business. Yeah, the only weight was the doors, and that was out of you guys' control. Right. That they was the manufacturer. The manufacturer. Yeah. manufacturer, and they're starting to pick back up. And part of that I had understood was the back order. In January, new codes come up. Every three years, they change the windling code. So when the new codes come up, they were wanting the doors, I guess, made a certain way, a little tweaking here or there. And there's a special machine that they had to use. The manufacturer only had one or two wow. there, and they had to purchase a couple more doors to keep up and get them pushed out. So everything is rolling quite smoothly now, and I'm very thankful for that. I mean, they put these doors in in like two hours. Yes. They're quick. I'm very proud of them. And I love this double welded truss system. Not everybody offers that. Yeah. It follows the pitch of the roof, and it only takes up eight or nine inches overhead. Some of the other companies have what they call an A, we had a bar that goes across. And the bar would go straight across. So if you had a 12 foot leg, the bar would go across 12 foot and you would lose all that overhead space above you. With this lift, it worked out perfect for you. I could have got shorter doors, yes. shorter walls, and if you have that type of truss, you could fit that size lift yes. in here. Yes. Because yes. you don't have the bars going across. Yes, yes, with this building. But whatever size door you want, if you want a true 10 foot clearance, it has to be two foot over the door. Right. Because as you see, yeah, it rolls cylinders up there and they need room to install them. And once the door rolls up on that cylinder, it takes up that much more space. I think it turned out perfect. I'm happy with it. Yes. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. So am I happy with my garage? 30 by 40 with 12 foot walls. Yes, I am very happy. Everything went smoothly, except the doors took a little long. And I had a little discrepancy with the company that does the electric, not the electrician. The electrician was great. So I got quite a bit of work ahead of me. Getting everything set up and putting stuff in and buying stuff. I do want to get a tire balancer and a tire machine. So yeah, for $30,000 roughly, start to finish, I'm very happy. Hit that follow button if you want to see what happens in Cheesy's Garage in the future. I've been using it. I've been using it a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.